What up, everybody? Kenny Smith, the man child. I'm here on episode lucky number seven of Cooking with Kenny. Now, y'all obviously know we're not at Willow Oak Farm and Vineyard and I got a mask on. I'm here with Bob LaChance, head chuck wagon cook for the United Methodist Man, and he is making cornbread supreme. So let's see how he does it. Bob, take it away. Hi, everybody. I'm going to make some cornbread supreme. I make this for the Methodist men. I've made it for uh, my family and everything. It's a wonderful uh, uh, and simple uh, thing. So uh, first off, like Kenny uses, I use a cast iron skillet. And I take that and you got to preheat your oven for to 375. It's a well-seasoned cast iron skillet too. I can tell you that. This is about a hundred years old. This is, we date this back to the 1920s. We've done some research on it. This was my, our Carol, my wife's grandmother's uh, skillet. So we take that and we put a, put some spray in there, get it good. And I'm going to take that and stick it in the oven and get it good and hot. Bob, what do we preheat the oven to? 375. 375, folks. Absolutely. All right, then we're going to take some, got a bowl. I'm going to take four eggs. A little bit of milk, a quarter cup of milk. For you young folks watching, Bob uses a manual mixer, not an electric one. Gotta melt my butter. Then I take some, take a little jiffy cornbread mix. That in there. Stir that up a little bit. We got some, I'm sure there's other cornbread mixes and everything. Jiffy's the cheapest that I found. So. <laughs> and it tastes good as long as you're adding some stuff to it. And I got some weird stuff that I'm going to be adding to it. But it all comes out very good. So to that, I'm going to add one onion. It's been chopped up. Just to kick it up a notch, we add a little bit of hot sauce. Kenny's just shaking his head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just Heavy on the hot sauce, folks. Just a couple of little splashes. Ha, ha, ha. Just melted a stick of butter. I'm going to add that to it. What do you think, Kenny? It'll cook all right? Yeah, it looks good. All right. Then I take a slice of ham. And it's about a half inch thick. What kind of ham are we using? I'm using a honey ham. I bought it uh, just one slice of ham that you would usually grill or fry up. And I uh, took that. And they had honey. They had maple. They had um, one of the others. And then the regular just uh, baked ham. Um, so I got a one slice of ham. That's about a one and a half cups of diced ham. Oven is ready in that temperature. Then we take some cheese, some shredded uh, cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. And one and a half cups, we add that, about one and a half cups of that, of that. Yeah, the worst part is when you see mild cheddar cheese in the store. You know that person's got the taste buds of a toddler. <laughs> well, that's like my wife Carol's, she thinks ketchup is too spicy. 
Ain't that a shame. <laughs> All right, now here's the weird thing. I've got 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach. And we take this and uh, you drain it good. And then we add that to it. So if you just saw Bob put it in the oven, he used the bottom rack. Bob, why do we use the bottom rack? Gives it a, the heat is um, more centralized. Okay, okay. So how long we bake it for? Uh, 25 minutes. 25 minutes on the baking. I'm sorry, 30, 30 to 35 minutes. 30 to 35, it'll be a long day. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna take three strips of bacon. You can't have any kind of a casserole or yep. any breakfast type of thing without bacon. Bob cooks his bacon on the medium side, I think. I like medium rare bacon. Well, so, I pre-cooked a, a pound of bacon and then I just let, let it like this and then I'll take it and I'll put it into the, uh, when I'm using it, I'll put it in a frying pan and fry it up a little bit more mm. just, to, just to heat it up and yeah. make sure it's done. But I, I'll bake, I bake my uh, bacon. I put it on oh, a, bake, yeah, yeah. On a cookie sheet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I people do that. Put it on a... Put it on a cookie sheet, stick it in the oven for 12 minutes. What temperature you use? Uh, 375. 375. For 12 minutes. And that's how, when I worked at the Tun Tavern, that's how they would cook all the bacon. They do, do four or five pounds of bacon every morning. Let's talk about the Tun Tavern, folks. That was where the birth of the United States Marine Corps happened. Bob, what year was that? 1775. 1775, November 10th. November 10th. All right, folks, we'll be back at the end. All right, folks, so we just took the um, cornbread out. It's not done, though. Bob's going to add some cheese. Bob, tell us what you're going to do here. Okay, we want to make this a cheesy uh, cornbread, so we're going to add the rest of the cheese, sprinkle it around the top, and then we'll put it back in the oven for the, the other 10 minutes or so to finish it up. And then I'm going to heat up the some bacon. I got three strips of bacon and I'm going to heat that up a little bit and then we'll break that. When we take it out, we'll break up the bacon and put it over on the top of the, the cornbread here. So the cornbread's going back in for another five minutes roughly. Yeah. All right, so Bob's reheating the bacon that's going to go on the cornbread. Looks like he just took the three strips and put it in a Teflon pan. We'll apologize for Teflon. Okay, we're all set to go. That looks excellent, Bob. And there you have it. Bob Lachance's famous cornbread supreme. Heavy on the corn, heavy on the bread, and heavy on the meat because you're having breakfast, not a salad. This is Kenny Smith. The man-child, Mr. Kenny, hanging out with Bob, the Chuck Wagon Cook, LaChance, head of the Methodist Men Brigade, great chili maker too. I'll see you next time.